one category we had to hit before we got out of here. Most unsettling or cringe inducing Russell Wilson moment of 2022. What do you have? What do you have for me? All right. Well, so I'm going to be really curious to see what yours is because I mean, I think they all have to involve like, let's ride, right? Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Oh, mine do not involve let's ride. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe you've got like my the winner does not. The airplane thing. Okay. Um, I will say, I would like to say I've been on the record. So I went back and I looked, um, March 16th was the first time that I tweeted anything about let's ride. So that was right about when this (laughs) happened. And I tweeted, wow, Russell Wilson's trying really trying to make let's ride happen. And then I attached the stop trying to make fetch happen gif to that because it was cringeworthy from the very beginning. And I went back and I looked at the replies to that tweet and somebody was like, this has to just be like a celebratory thing, right? They're not actually, he's he's not actually gonna say this when they lose. So the second part of that is the saddest less ride, which was after that Colts loss. He believe it in. Thank you guys, thank you guys, Broncos country. That's right. I just, I mean, he did this, like it was the saddest like, let's ride. Broncos country. That's right. He like walked off like the podium, like he kind of whispered it into the mic and it was like, oh, he's still actually going to say it. So I think those to me were like, um, were really just kind of cringeworthy. I mean, there, there have been a lot like, but when you could tell like from the very beginning that he was like, he was going to make this thing happen and that it was all very contrived and, um, I, you know, it just, it always kind of felt like, ah, are, we, are we really going to do this? Like we're, we're going to make this like, re- oh, we're definitely going to do this. It, there was a moment where he didn't say it, though, right? Wasn't uh, there a game where he afterwards did. he didn't say it because yes. he was so devastated? Um, That's so when I knew it was over. So he said he did say it after the Colts game, and it was that really sad, like, oh, it's right. Oh, as he, like, walked up the podium. Was so, the yeah, it was the Monday, the Monday night game. Um, you know, tonight was unfortunate. We should have won that game, we felt like. And uh, we got we to we gotta keep going. Thank you, very much. Thank you guys. Yep. Thanks. So then he didn't say it, but then it was back. He brought it back like a week or two later. I think he did it like after his Wednesday press conference. Um, and then it was certainly back in London. Enjoy that flight. Go Broncos country. Let's ride, baby. <laughs> so I don't know. Now I, w- I want to know what yours is now. I'm curious. Uh, what Have I blocked out more cringeworthy Russell Wilson moments from my memory? I mean, it's to me, it's definitely the subway commercial where he's uh, okay. talking to the sure, camera. Sure, sure. Hey, you want to uh, split this subway sandwich? It is my signature sandwich. It's called the Danger Witch, and it's dangerously good. Be careful, though. It's spicy. Hmm. You ever done anything dangerous? Hmm. Jeez, that is dangerous. I've done something like that, too. I won't tell anybody. Listen, one time, Never mind. That's too dangerous. Anyways, my danger witch, it's only in the vault. That's our little secret. For me, it's the have you ever done anything dangerous? I mean, a lot of people have memed the shit out of it, and putting it into the Joker scene from The Dark Knight is very good. Hey, you want to split this Subway sandwich? It is my signature sandwich. It's called the danger witch, and it's dangerously good. Be careful, though. It's spicy. Hmm. You ever done anything dangerous? Any sort of weird serial killer monologue where someone's tied up in a chair, you could just put that right over it and it would totally fit. That 30 second clip or whatever it was, every time I see it, it just makes my skin crawl. Well, he's just entered this zone now where like, I don't think anything he does this year is it, everything is going to become some sort of a joke. And like every single thing that he says and things that are even completely innocuous, like the whole like plane thing. But uh, yeah, for me, I was on the plane the first two hours. I was uh, uh, first two hours, probably eight, was it, eight hours flight here. That's, that's the first two hours I was watching the film, getting, watching all the cut ups and everything else. And then for the next four hours, I was doing treatment on the plane. I was walking up and down the aisles. Everybody was knocked out. I was doing high knees and working on, working on my legs and everything else, you know, make sure I'm ready to rock. I don't, it, it just was really no, weird. Don't right? say just, it though. Just don't put it out. Yeah. There. Don't, do not publicize that. Even if you were working out on the plane and trying to get yourself right, yeah. read the room. Let's ride. Let's ride. 
Let's ride. No yeah, one wants to exactly. hear about so that he's, right now. He is in that zone right now where like every single thing that he says is going to become a joke. It's going to become fodder for the people who want to just take all these shots at him. Um, and I do feel a bit bad for him on this because like there's literally nothing he can do at this point that isn't going to become some sort of a meme or a joke other than, you know, without just like going on some sort of a winning streak. Um, he has not- to play well. I mean, that's that's the problem with this is you we can put up with the bullshit and we can put up with all the silliness when guys are playing well. But when they're not, it all comes falling down. There doesn't seem to be any sort of immediate answers from a coaching perspective of like signs that they're going to figure this out and get this right quickly. And that's that's a big problem. And that's made it really hard for Russell Wilson to kind of survive, uh, survive the online, uh, all this stuff, all of us making fun of him all the time. <laughs> <laughs>